All right, so we're taking off on guitar V number seven. We wanted to fit in one before we wrap up 2022. Don't have a bunch of crazy gear pickups or anything planned, but we just want to touch base and take you guys along for the ride as usual. One of our buddies just flew in. He has business in LA, so he's gonna hitch a ride with us down there. He knows his way around the kitchen, so there's gonna be a lot of food content, but we didn't want you guys to miss a trip. And like I said, wanted to get one more in before winter comes, so let's head out. Guitar V7, love an hour day. Um, we we're gonna cook dinner on this Blackstone, that ain't happening, but we have a very special guest in from New York. I know some of you have seen him before. We got a chef with Thomas on board, baby. The magician in the kitchen. Yes. Normally around 20 minutes, but uh, in an RV, I think it's as long as it takes. <laughs> Okay, back on the road again. Here we are, Guitar V7. We're leaving the Ashland Creek Campground. <laughs> we gotta go, we gotta start again. All right, go ahead. We're leaving the Ashland Campground and heading south on I-5 to get us, uh, uh, hopefully like seven hours closer to LA, our um, destination on this trip. And it's gonna be an exciting time down there. So, Godspeed on the road. Shasta on the freeway and it's snowing and we're stuck in the middle of the freeway traffic stopped <laughs> so we got a full tank of gas uh, 18 wheelers on each side of us I think we're in pretty good shape hopefully it'll clear up here out of the uh, stop traffic we were paused for about an hour or so but still in the storm it's a little it's a little weird going through california and seeing the snow come down like this but... all right we got out of the snowstorm it was pretty hairy um the latest at least an hour or so. How'd you do? You working the whole time, huh? Working the whole time, <laughs> yeah. I'm now figuring out what I'm gonna make for them. Yeah, this guy's a road dog, man. So, what happened? Well, we were cruising, feeling pretty good, and the windshield wiper just went out, so we're pulled over to the side of the road. Another kink to work out. People think we're fucking insane. Well, they are insane. Uh, it's a fucking bus full of crazy bastards, man. All right, here's our handiwork. Uh, this is gonna limp us to a repair shop, I guess. When this windshield wiper is busted, can't disconnect it. So we're gonna keep this uh, just pointing forward, onward. <laughs> limp with one. Uh,
day two dinner on the road is gonna be uh, some beautiful ribeyes grilled simply outside, providing that the grill works today. Um, with a salsa verde, um, we're gonna slow cook uh, some mushrooms and some white beans with a ton of herbs and truffle. Um, and then I'm gonna make a beautiful kale salad with some roasted pine nuts um, with a lemon vinaigrette. Spoiled. Made to LA. The Explorer that we, uh, our car that we keep down here is dead, of course, the theme of the trip. Uh, but we're gonna jump in, we're gonna get to the park, get all set up and relax before um, it's just a guitar filled weekend. We need some rest. First actual day in LA, we're gonna start off with uh, coffee with Ryan Lerman, which has kind of become a tradition. Great way to set the day, get you all caffeinated. And then we're gonna go to LAX, pick up Liz Heron. We're super excited to have her join. Yeah. Drop six cool vintage guitars off at ECG South, hang with the Crafts and Tailored guys. Then we're doing a little hillbilly barbecue tonight. My day looks like hanging out here at the Hollywood RV Park, waiting for the RV repair guy to show up. Mac. And then Chef Luke's coming out. Yeah. to cook some food for everybody and we're gonna have a little hoedown. It'll be great. <laughs> that's a that's really insulting to me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I love these. Wow. One of these days, I'm gonna figure out how to do this. That's a guitar. Yeah. <laughs> oh my um, god. Thank you, Ryan. It's cool, man. Bad two two hundred dollar guitar. Weighs like a guitar. pound. Yeah. German, like a. Early yeah. 1900s. Right? Kind of thing. Those are sound holes, man. Gotta get, gotta get the sound out. <laughs> Look at that. It kind of looks like a little face, actually. Yeah. This is cool, dude. Isaac shaved the neck down so he didn't have to do a neck reset. Mm -hmm. He just lowered it there. The old yeah. back alleyway. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Looks. Too fragile for me, but it looks beautiful. This craftsmanship is just I mean, insane. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's incredible. Arrow. I like this one. You do? I bet that one with a pickup though, because not so boomy probably yeah. sounds really good, but this one just has a little bit more. Way, way quieter, yeah. but still, they go, that'll sound nice and like, right? It's fun to play it. Yeah. Flip the switch. Flip the switch. Oh wow. 
Wow, so what what is the boost deal with it? It's like a little preamp cool. inside. It was in there. Oh really? Okay. That's it was just this pickup with a preamp. That's right. And it was like twelve hundred dollars. Sixty one. Oh man, again, some of these stops are just to get charged up emotionally before a busy week and Ryan is just an amazing guy. Every time we come and hang out with him, it just feels, just feels good. So it is time to pick Liz up from the airport. She's arriving a little early. We're gonna make perfect time. Let's get to it. Shoreline Gold uh, Basics in a 1965 strap. Bring a bunch of guitars here, and there will be many more to come this weekend. It's Whoa! Like, you get them, they're usually, you see them in like silver or orange. It's like very, very rare to see a yellow dial. Wow. Yeah, that's badass. This thing's heavy too. It's a, dive, it's a diver's watch. Super sick. Very cool. All right, we just brought some cool guitars down here and we've been hanging with Cam Barr, the uh, man behind Craft and Tailored. Got Liz down here. We're gonna do some maintenance on a couple instruments later this weekend, but first and foremost, we're gonna checking on Booney at the RV park. We're getting those windshield wipers repaired and make sure he's doing good. And we'll be back. Hey, <laughs> I don't know why he's back, but he is, man. <laughs> How you doing? Great. Good to see you. Thomas here, he's really been taking care of us. So we decided to present him with this 1952 Gibson old LG model that I've had around for a long time and uh, Luke needs a guitar, we're uh -huh. gonna keep in the family. <laughs> Mike Cornwall's house, legendary, kind of underground punk guitar tech. So we're gonna go pick up an assortment of tacos, start the day off there, and go jewel over some cool projects he's working on. We're looking at one right now called the Thornwall. We have this guitar to showcase these pickups that his girlfriend Eva has been making. Only a few people have had these kind of like prototypes of them. And so we are so lucky to have a box of the handmade, hand-wound Eva pickups. That's a neck pickup. Here's a neck and bridge, and we've got some Tele bridge pickups by themselves. Even through the setup, which literally we're going through like batteries through a, you know, a chargeable boom box, but the strings articulate, they're just...
feels good holding a full box of Eva pickups. We're gonna head out to the Beverly Hills Hotel, go meet up with Luke for a little bit, head to Night Market, one of my favorite restaurants, always have to stop there in LA. And then we've never been to the Rainbow Room, so when in Rome, we gotta check it out. Yeah, gonna go pet Lemmy's statue. Yes. <laughs> So we have one more full day in LA. We had so much fun last night. It was really cool. I ran into John Mayer, who's one of my best customers. Good to see you, Johnny. Today we're gonna go to Guitar Center and a hardware store to get a full tech kit for Liz. She's gonna do some maintenance on some instruments. But first and foremost, we need coffee. All right, we're down at the showroom. Today is guitar maintenance. Liz is going to go through the inventory and make sure everything is tip top, fresh strings and all that. Uh, I'm going to turn it over to you. All right, here we have a 1965 Fender Stratocaster. First things first, got to take off the strings, all five of them. Now for the spa treatment. Just drink aboard a little something to drink. Cut the strings to the right length. Put the uh, tuner up on it and see how the neck angle looks when I get it all tuned to pitch. Don't need to do anything with the truss rod, so that's good. Right on the money. All right, so we're just leaving the showroom. Liz just dialed in all the guitars that are there. Now we're gonna head back to the park quickly, then head to uh, Crossroads in Melrose for dinner with some folks who are driving about five guitars up for me to take a look at from Santa Barbara. So I have no idea what they're gonna be, but um, yeah, we're gonna find out, it'll be exciting. Last ball. Uh, that was my Sid Vicious person. solo. <laughs> um, they drove two hours from Santa Barbara to come and hang out with us. We've been chatting on the phone for the last week or so, and it's been an yeah. absolute pleasure. And our text message is, graduated from happy faces to hearts. <laughs> <laughs> At least since 1962. This one's been refinished, right. but it's still a, a really cool guitar. Let's jump on this one next. Music uh, Man. Or I'll Music Man. Right. Yeah, Say Japan. On the bottom, I'm pretty sure it does. And yeah. it doesn't have that serial number like imprinted, so. I'm probably not going to bother with like taking the rest of that off yeah, at this okay. point. But I would like to see the neck on that. So. And last but not least, a little Goya. Any Martin is a good Martin, really. And you have a ukulele that matches it? I have a matching ukulele. Kind of looks like a harmony sovereign, how big that body is. June 62. Oh, it's been right. 62 years. Oh, yeah. That's a good yeah. year, right? Cool. What's, yeah, uh, right. Yeah. What's the brand uh, of this one? Uh, Fender. So it's Fender Stratocaster. So that's the one. one. Yeah, that's... The 1960 what? 62. So no, okay. no additional routing, which is good. Switch is straight up. Pots are good. 32nd week of 62. So that... So, so they probably refinished that in the 70s when like natural yeah. guitars are kind of the, yeah. the big thing. Now yeah, we can add yeah. another nine to that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The latest craze. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> John Douglas Company, a realtor. Right. So this just says memo in for evaluation, so there's no... No. We're just going to take them, tell you what they're worth, go through them, take them. So where do, right. where do Kay and I sleep tonight? <laughs> <laughs> right here. Yeah. Until we meet again. <laughs> all right. Guitar V7. This makes it all worth it. All the miles, all the trailer parks. I'm freaking out right now. <laughs> Mint condition, 1950. Fender Broadcaster. Literally the cleanest one I've ever seen. It's been in Fresno, California its entire life. Has a strap, a champion lap steel, and an amp that were all purchased together. Uh, and as, as you can see, it's literally, I can't really find the words, you know? <laughs> it's crazy. Picked it up and it sold immediately, as these do. This will pay for our gas money back home, but yeah, anyways, we just want to show you guys this. This is just like, yeah, <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. It's so cool. <laughs> Look at this key. A Broadcaster case key. Never seen one of these. Case is mint condition. Yeah, you brought us good luck, Lizzie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's about, folks. This is just the coolest way to wrap up the trip. We just dropped off the 1950 Fender Broadcaster to its new owner. He was so excited. I am so thrilled for him. That's like a guitar I'll never forget. We are going to get the hell out of Los Angeles, head back to the Pacific Northwest, and do it all over again. See you there. Dude, Liz, that is so weird. Oh my god, I wanna ah, I wanna go, I wanna see him. Do we take it right here? Do we take it right here? Uh.